Parsha 101, now Haftarah 101. This week is for the Parsha, the Torah portion of Baichi, the last Torah portion of the book of Bereshis, the last of the book of Genesis. And in this Torah portion, there's two main parts to it. One is Yaakov, Jacob, is about to pass away. And so it's his last words to his sons. And then it's also the end. This kind of wraps up the story of all the 12 tribes because the first portion of Exodus, of Shmos, is going to start going into the uh, the slavery in Egypt, etc. So it also ends with Joseph, Joseph's last words to his brothers, as in, because once Yaakov passes away, the brothers are like, oh no, you know, don't, were you just waiting for father to pass away to, you know, get back at us? And he's like, don't worry, everything's going to be fine, etc. So it's a, it's a lot of last will and testament going on in this week's Torah portion, and that's why the Haftarah is from the book of Kings 1, so book of Malachim, and it's all about King David's last words to his son, King Solomon, before he's going to take over. And it's just a general idea of he tells him, um, you know, make sure to, to walk in God's ways and hang on to things. He also gives him a list of people that need taken care of. Either certain people, for whatever reason, King David couldn't take care of it for whatever reason while he was still alive. So he's like, listen, when you're gonna when you're gonna step in, you gotta you're gonna have to make sure that people know you're in charge, especially because King Solomon was 12 years old at the time when he became king. So he's like, you gotta make sure you take care of these things. And then it just ends off by saying that King David was laid to rest in the city of David and he ruled for 40 years. So one of the things that he says, he tells King Solomon that you gotta strengthen and be a man. And just one of the ideas of this is, is even though King Solomon was gonna be such a genius, um, we already have a few half doors ago about how King Solomon realized that God had given him the wisdom, well, what should have been in Hanukkah, but given him the wisdom, so the story with the, with the two women and the one babies, but it's part of what it's saying is that it's not enough to just be very smart. You also know, you also have to know how to apply that knowledge correctly. As in, you also you also have to have, we'll call them broad terms, kind of like emotional smarts. So it, you could be a super genius, but that's not enough to make you a man. A man knows how to take this knowledge and actually apply it in leadership and in and in dealing with other people, etc. So King David is saying, this is what you got to do. King, King Solomon, my son, this is what you got to do is... Don't just be such a genius, also know what to do with that genius, basically. Also know how to use that genius in communicating with and in dealing with other people, etc. Which is a very good thing for everybody to bear in mind. And that's the half Torah.